Okay, real quick, before I get started, I'm already dirty and you can see the cars behind me. I wasn't planning on filming a video, but I found a wrench that would break the bolts loose. The car started acting up again and the starter was acting funny. So what I'm gonna do is just try to take it out and go get it tested so I can know for sure if that is my problem. So I've already got one bolt out. The other one's broke loose. Um, so let's try and get this starter out. So as you can see, here's one bolt. That bolt is huge, but <laughs> huge, but it's out, whoa. That was a big gust of wind. Hopefully I don't get blown off this thing. So this is the wrench I got. Shout out my dad, he had one. So I already broke this bolt loose, so now I just gotta get it out. Easier said than done, right? Ow, god dang it, another goat head. These bolts have probably never come out in their lifetime. There's two. This one actually has spider web on it. Great. Now, I don't know if it's the same way or what. Yep, I felt it go. Ugh. Ugh. There's Amazon. Did I order anything? Oh, <clears throat> my voice. God almighty. This bolt is so long. All right, here she comes. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. Oh, I think he just broke free. Come on, old girl. Yep, there she goes. Okay, last one. Okay. Oh. The last one's always gotta be the hardest, right? Oh. Ah, I felt it, I felt it. Ah. Yep, there it went. I think I pulled my quad in the process. I don't know. Oh, it's starting to fall now. That's a good sign. If it's starting to fall, that means there's no more bolts. I cut my arm. Ow. I cut my bicep. Dude, this wrench, please stop falling off of there. Now, since I'm stupid, I'm gonna mark what side of the car this goes on. Into the left side. and an R on the right side. It probably only goes on one way, but I'm stupid. R for right. <laughs> Should probably call my dad and let him know that they worked. Hello? Hello? Hello. The, that wrench worked, they're out. Good. I don't need a breaker bar, so now I'm just gonna try to get the starter out. All right, I will, if I can get it out. Get it down on the ground first. What do you mean, get it down on the ground? I am on the ground. No, starter. Well, I will. I'm going to take out the bolts and then see where the wires come from. All right. All right, bye. Oh, my father. Now that that's out of the way, the only other thing that's in my way is this exhaust. Is this hot? The car was just running. No, it's actually not. These two exhaust bolts that are guaranteed to break. They will break. Look at this. You see these bolts right here? I know it's kind of hard to see. Look at that. So, do I leave it or break them? I feel like I should just leave it, right? That's probably the best bet. Ow! So now, I can reach everything pretty much. Are these the wires going to it? No, they're not. Of course not. Story of my life. Oh, I gotta go unhook the battery. Oh, man. God dang it. I really don't want to get back up and go do that. But it's the smart, it's the smart thing to do, right? It's the smart, ow, another goat head. I'll show you what I'm seeing. I know I'm gonna be kind of quiet, so I'll try to talk into the mic. Yeah, you guys can't really see it. But yeah, it's this metal box right here. And one of the, I think the wires are up at the top here. And my bolts, one of them's right here. See, this one's kind of easy to get to. But the other one is on the top. Sometimes I wonder why I do this to myself. I gotta go disconnect the battery. Bleh. Oh, a spider. All right. Oh, motherfucker. Batteries disconnected. <clears throat> ow! So, ow, God, dude, these goat heads are gonna make me lose it. If you don't know what a goat head is, some people also call them stickers. Ow, I just got another one in the side. So I was just looking from up top. I think I can reach it from above, the bolt that I, the bolt that I need, so. God have mercy, please. 
I'm actually gonna go try right now. I'm gonna leave the camera down here though. So I'm gonna go see and let you know. So I'm not able to tell. Oh, don't you go anywhere. No, the socket, thank God. I'm not able to tell. So what I'm gonna do is put a socket on here that fits, find the right size and go to the top and see if I'm right. These wires can go somewhere, but I'm gonna have to almost just drop that on my face. Man, I'm really getting a neck workout. I'm gonna try a 13. Could I look it up? Yeah. Am I going to? No. They're 13s. So I need to leave that on there and I'm gonna go to the top and see if I can see it from the top. Okay, so I brought you up top and luckily it is. You can see my super shiny ratchet down there. I hate starters. Did I say that? And there's like no guides on this car, which makes it even fucking worse. I guess the only thing to do is to take it off. But, oh, okay, that air hose almost hit me in the face. Excuse me, can I go back please? Now, I don't know if you've seen the last video, but I had to buy these special wrenches to put on my serpentine belt. Isn't that kind of cool? They're really, really slim. So I should be able to at least get one bolt for sure. And that one bolt looks like it's holding on a bracket. So maybe that will get the bracket out of my way. I gotta get my socket on here. There it goes. I'm gonna break my knuckles. Oh, it clicked. Oh, come around to the front, try to pull it this way. There she went. Okay, I'm gonna be here forever. You wanna see what I'm seeing? Here you go. All right, the bolt's coming. Gotta put y'all back down, sorry. Oh, top of the motor's still hot. Ooh. I'm having to stand, I have the car on ramps. I'm having a stand on the ramps. That's how short I am. Ooh. You guys fell. I hate being short. But for all my short kings out there, stay winning, boys. Is there anything else that's like kind of in my way that I could take out? You know, to be honest, the battery. Oh my God, these bolts are long. I got one. One down, two more to go. Okay, let's not lose this bolt. This bolt is very importante. Here we go. All right, battery's coming out. I cannot lose this bolt. I'll just put it back on the battery, eh? And there she goes. That makes life just a little bit easier. Ugh, this one's gonna be a lot harder to break since I don't have any leverage. So that one's like glued. Yep, there it went. So that one's broke free now. This sucks. I got the second bolt. This one took me, ow, I shit my funny bone, you fucker. This one took me a very long time. Oh my God, I have one left, one. Of course I wasn't filming, I just got stung by a bee. Oh, fuck. Got the stinger out though. God dang it. All right, had to break out the tiny, tiny ratchet because this bolt is just in such a weird location that it like won't, excuse me, that, that it won't like let any other socket onto it. Now, this is a Harbor, it's a cobalt uh, socket, but uh, Harbor Freight ratchet. So let's hope it holds up because I'm about to pull the ever-living god out of this guy here. Listen, I know we've had our I know we've had our, our rough spots, but can you get the fuck on there? All right, she's on, here we go. Now we gotta do the pulling. Okay, this motor is still extremely hot. Here we go. It popped loose. It's loose. Here we go with the world's longest bolts again. I'm kind of wondering if this thing is just gonna fall out. I didn't think about that. Is this peak content? Staring at me unscrew a really long bolt while my neighbors think I'm talking to myself. I think I'm finding about finding out about some newfound back problems. Being so short and trying to hover over this thing is a pain in my back. Not ass back. Ah. All right. I think she's hand tight loose now. Woo. My spine, my spine, my spine. The bolt's out. I can see it dangling underneath there. But oh, I think I just heard it fall. I did. So now we're gonna go underneath and grab it and see if it's easier to find the wires underneath there or up here at the top. So she is loose, I can see it right here. And the wires are on top. Wow, this thing is heavy. Oh, that dirt in my eye. What are the odds it's a 13? Ow, dude, God. 
I just broke that off in my back. All right, I've got the tiniest sockets I have. So let's try this one. Yeah, it looks like they all need to come off. Okay, so that's tightening, I don't know why. All right, so it looks like it's a 10. The famous 10. The one that always, the one that ever, uh oh, this is 3 eighths. Oh no, where did a 10 go? As I was getting, oh no, I have an 11. There's 12. Oh, I have the 10, I have a 10, I have a 10. Whew. Right as I was getting ready to say, it's the one that everybody loses. Okay, it's a 10 mil. You cocky man. Luckily, these ones come out pretty easily. Oh, my hands are cramping. They have like a protective cover over this. Oh my God, my hands are cramping. Woo! So that's the small one. <laughs> I fucking did it. I got it. I got it. Oh, this feels good, boys. Oh, this feels good. I'm gonna pose with it like you pose with a fish after you catch a fish. I'm gonna pose with it. All right. Time to go brag and get this thing tested. I'm gonna go have it tested and I'm gonna leave this here for charging. Here it is, you wanna see it again? So I'm gonna go have it tested right now and when I get back, hopefully the camera's charged a little bit more. Quick phone clip while the GoPro battery is still charging. So I went to two auto part stores uh, and they said the starter was good. Um, and if you remember in last video, shut up seatbelt, buckle, I'll put you on in a minute. If you remember in last video, the last car video when I tested the car, uh, I was running about 11.4, which he, the guy said was low. And when I put a jumper on it, as you know, the car will start. So I'm on my way. The battery is on the floor. So I'm going to go have him test my battery since the starter's good. Shut up. The starter's good. So let's test the battery. Okay. Back from the auto parts store. Battery tested completely fine. Starter tested completely fine. I'm running out of what the fuck it could be. Here we go. Which, that's not too hard. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay. So the two big ones. I just hope the rain holds off a little bit, but it would just be a great way to just cap off the day, wouldn't it? Just being rained on and shit on. And the tiny little guy. I can hear it raining. Uh-oh. All right, I gotta move that battery underneath here. Just an awesome way to cap off the day with fucking rain. All right. Oh. Oh, dude, I just hit my head so fucking hard. Oh, dude. Oh. So the the taking out went pretty easy, but the install, oh my God, I just hit my head so fucking hard, dude. Oh, God. Now, I wanna make sure these are secure connections, right? Because this is what could have been bad last time. Like, we don't know. Okay, that was so loud. Dude, it's raining so hard. Oh, my phone's in the driver's seat. I gotta get my phone. Oh no, I always pinch my fucking finger. Jesus Christ, why is this all going to hell right now? Help me. Is that Josh Libra? Or Hi YouTube! All right, we're back underneath here. You just saw Josh Libra. He uh, was on a camping trip and he ordered an iPhone 13 uh, and they left it on his porch while he was gone. So he uh, asked me if I would go get it and leave it at my house and uh, he just came to pick it up. So that's what he was doing here. But now, luckily, it has stopped raining for now. So perfect, it was perfect timing. It was just raining while I was getting his phone for him. Where's my wrench? Can't tighten bolts without a wrench. Wait, dead ass, where's actually, where's my wrench actually? Do you, what? I got it. I'm ruining this Nike shirt. I shouldn't have worn a Nike shirt. This shirt was probably 45 fucking dollars. All right, now the interesting part. How do I put this back? All right, it's resting where it should be. So let's go to the top of the motor and put the bolts back through. Back to being short. Like my power stance. I just can't see the fucking hole. Ooh, almost just dropped the bolt. This fucking sucks. It's been like 30 minutes since the last clip because I've just now got the first bolt started and it took me a lot of time and cussing and fucking things. That didn't, never mind. I don't even wanna. The second one is started. It's in the hole. That's what she said. I just gotta align the starter for the 18th time. Please bite. I think it bit, it bit. All right. Oh, my spine. 
Holy God. And now 20 minutes of this ratchet noise. I can go like not even half a turn at a time. We're almost done. Just breathe. Oh, you mother bitch. We're almost on the last one. And of course, the wrench would fall off. Why, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Back break. Oh. Last bolt. Here we go. Almost threw up. I'm having fun. 20 minutes later, we're almost to the point of where I'm like gonna torque it down. Am I gonna torque it to spec? Fuck no. Okay, and one good oomph, oomph. I give it two umps. So what's the torque spec on a 2001 Ford ZX2 uh, uh, starter bolt? Two oomphs. Oh, this subwoofer hope, this subwoofer wire. Get out of here. Oh God, that's heavy. Now I don't like this part <laughs> because I don't like the ability to be shocked and that likelihood is really high for this car. Please don't fucking shock me. Please don't shock me. Okay. Oh no. Oh, it hit the floor. It hit the floor. Don't fucking shock me. Just hold on to plastic and don't touch the car. Beautiful. Time for the moment of truth. Please. Here we go, listen for a beep. Good. Make sure we get power. Yep, fuel pump clicked. Here we go. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry. So I just got done. I'm back in the car, as you can tell, man. I am filthy. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower. Both of my SD cards are full, so that's why I'm hurrying up to make this video. So I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do. So if you have any ideas of what it could be, please let me know. I'm gonna get all cleaned up. And uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.